Did you know the average American creates almost one ton of trash per year? Five pounds per day times 365 days equals about 1,825 pounds or almost a ton. Multiply that figure out over 300 million or so Americans and you get an inkling of the problem we're facing together. We're making more trash as a nation than we know what to do with. Our brand new material recovery facility, or Mr. Murph as we like to call him, was designed to help solve that problem. With it, we're now able to process and reclaim almost 200 tons of recyclables a day, including plastics, aluminum, cardboard, paper, and glass. Having this facility means people in Northeast Oklahoma can recycle more products without having to take time to pre-sort the items into bins. So you see, just by doing business with American Waste Control and Tulsa Recycle and Transfer, you're an important strategic partner in our efforts to recycle and provide for a cleaner future. Mr. Murph's doing an amazing job for Tulsa, sorting out recyclables and moving trash away from our city and landfills. Here's how he works. First, trash from the tipping floor is loaded into a hopper and it's transported up the conveyor belt where it's metered for consistent volume. As incoming material moves along the conveyor belt, workers pull out large items and those materials not capable of being recycled. Unusable garbage is also picked out at this time. These items are placed into a bin and will be transported to a final destination where they recover the energy through incineration. The recyclables continue down the conveyor belt to the first stage, a three-tier sorting system. The screener allows the cardboard to float to the top of the discs and 3D material falls below. Since glass is the heaviest, it's crushed between steel plates and drops to the bottom level where it's transferred to the glass cleanup system. The recyclables are then passed through the polisher, which separates out the newspaper. This material is then quality checked and placed into bins for later baling. The next polisher removes all the remaining fiber or mixed paper with the same quality check stations and bin storage for later processing. Mr. Murf sorters are trained to ensure items are sorted accurately throughout the process. As a result, the amount of contamination in the final recycling bale is greatly reduced, giving us a 95% recovery rate. Now that all the fiber and glass have been removed, the remaining 3D objects such as aluminum, metal, and plastics move on to the second stage of processing. The metal is pulled from the conveyor stream by a cross-belt magnet. This pulls metal, tin cans, and all other ferrous material. The next stage uses an anti-magnet called an eddy current. This machine creates a force field that repels the aluminum up and over a divider while forcing the plastics to fall down into the next stage of optical scanning. The first pass of optical scanning separates the PET or plastic 1 from HDPE or plastic 2. The PET plastic is color commingled with lids and labels attached. The final optical scanning pass separates the natural or clear HDPE from the color. This optical scanner can identify which plastics have colors and which don't. By identifying each container's position on the belt, colored plastic is blown into one bin while clear plastic falls off the belt into a separate bin. When all materials are sorted, each one is pushed onto a conveyor belt that brings them to the baler. The baler compresses the material, which can then be shipped off to create new products from the recycled material. Each bale can weigh anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. Thanks to Mr. Murph, we've gone from a 15% recovery rate through manual sorting to up to 95% with the automation of our Murph. At American Waste Control, we strongly believe in the innovation of new recycling technology. Mr. Murph is a great example of this innovation, but we also need your help to make a difference. Our website, www.feedmrmurph.com, has a list of these locations along with a map for directions. You can help recycle by taking all of your plastic, cardboard, paper, and aluminum cans to these locations for a little chomping action by Mr. Murph. He's hungry, and we need your help making Northeast Oklahoma the best it can be. Remember that together, we're providing for our future. Join Mr. Murph today and do your part in recycling and making Oklahoma a better place to live. Feed Mr. Murph.